There's a surprising new weapon in the battle to protect our shores and our homes from rising sea levels. Diana Olick is back, and she's got more in her continuing series on the rising risks to real estate. Manhattan's iconic Gramercy Tavern, where the menu celebrates locally sourced sustainable food, something transformational is going on in the trash. Gramercy Tavern is one of more than 70 New York area restaurants donating their wholly eaten half shells to help repopulate the oyster reefs in New York Harbor. When I learned a little bit more about their technique, then they had me hooked. Oyster reefs are natural barriers that protect shorelines from erosion, rising tides, and increasingly severe storm surge. They knock down the height and force of waves, but they've been decimated by a century of over-harvesting and worsening water quality. We've seen a loss of almost 80% of oysters in estuaries worldwide. University of North Carolina professor Antonio Rodriguez studies oyster reef growth. He says the best way to protect the billions of dollars worth of coastal real estate from the effects of climate change is to go back to nature. The goal is to keep people safe, keep their property intact, and sometimes making your environment more natural and you know, learning from the way the environment was before we developed it, those are the best techniques. Oyster reefs are now being rehabbed from Massachusetts to Texas in projects by universities, local municipalities, the U.S. Navy and Air Force. This is the oyster hatchery of the New York Harbor School and it's where Billion Oyster Project grows all of um, our oysters. The Billion Oyster Project is one of the most ambitious. A twist on farm to table, it's table to farm. With a three and a half million dollar annual budget funded in part by state and federal grants from Superstorm Sandy. It collects 10,000 pounds of discarded restaurant shells per week, brings them to Governor's Island to cure for a year, then puts them in a hatchery where they spawn oyster larvae. So right here you can see two baby oysters. Once the Sandy happened and the aftermath of that, we realized just how valuable oyster reefs in New York Harbor could be. New York Harbor used to have over 200,000 acres of oyster reefs protecting the shoreline and that population is virtually extinct. So our natural barriers to storm surge are gone. Correct. And you're telling me that this big old pile of oyster shells is going to save us? Um, I don't know, save us, but it should absolutely uh, help. The goal is to place one billion live oysters across 100 acres of reefs by 2035, bag by bag. In order to receive federal funding, projects like Billion Oyster had to prove that not only were they making the shorelines more resilient, but they were creating social resilience. That is, bringing even the largest communities together to protect their own real estate. We want to engage communities everywhere because that's actually how you get long-standing change, right? If the community and the people that live there and work there are actively involved in stewarding their local environment. We're lucky to live and work in New York City where we have access to some of the freshest and the best, the widest variety of species anywhere in the world. But with that comes a responsibility of the choices that we make. And just this summer, new legislation was introduced in both the House and Senate to fund $100 million in natural shoreline restorations through state and local governments. This is not easy work. Not only do organizations need funding and oyster shells, they face tough hurdles from local permitting issues to, Brian, would you believe poachers? Okay. Well, first off, two things. It's great to have you on set. Good to see you again, Diana. Why is zoning an issue? Why would anybody care about oyster shells in an era in of climate water. change to save their beach. Because you're talking about extremely expensive real estate, bigger and bigger, more expensive houses, and guess what? Under the water, the oysters can hurt your feet if you step on them. And people actually care when they're walking out into the ocean, if it, is it in the right place? Is it going to bother my swimming? Is it going to you know, affect my real estate value because I might not step on beautiful sand? Well, well they walk. do have these things called tides, which tend right. to move things around. I'm not sure if people are familiar right, with Right, but people think it's going to detract from their home values. which the Oyster shells. Yeah, which is crazy because guess what's going to detract from your home value is a storm a surge of about six or eight. Or not feet. having a home because it's been washed out. 